This video is designed to show you some statistics that you can view about your students within Khan Academy. The first thing you will need to do is log into Khan Academy with your username and password. Once you have entered your username and password, you will be brought to this home screen. Your next step, you will want to click where it says Coach. After that, it will always default to the progress by exercise. What we want to take a look at within this video is the progress by student. What this will show are just some statistics about individual students. Now, this is also categorized by the different classes that you have set up within your student account. So, right now I'm just looking at chapter 7 and 8 math class, and now this is also given me information about their all-time usage. Now, as you can see, it says some details are not available in the all-time view. Okay, so if I want to get more specific details within this section, I want to set up a date range. So, what I will do is just a custom range, and I want to see some statistics that fall between February 1st and March 1st. Then I'll just click Set Custom Range. Now as you can see what this provides, this provides the minutes spent on Khan Academy in addition to the number of struggling exercises in the state range for the students and also the number of proficient exercises in the state range for students. Also there are points you can see. Now the more that they use Khan Academy and complete goals, the more points that they will receive. But probably the main things that you will want to see are the minutes, struggling exercises, and also proficient exercises in this date range. Now you can click on the clock, and you can see that I will have the most minutes used within this date range. You can see in one month, this student used Khan Academy for 1,168 minutes. He had two struggling activities within this state range, and also came up proficient in 23 different activities. Okay, you can see I can scroll down and I will even go down to the bottom part of the usage. Now this may be helpful for you as far as the minutes used. Let's say you want your students to use Khan Academy for a certain amount of minutes each month. You can go on this part of Khan Academy and get a quick snapshot on the amount of minutes that the students have used Khan Academy. Something else that you can do within this section is you can also filter this by exercises. So let's say for example I want to switch my class to my reach group number two and let's say I even want to um, keep my date range but we want to focus in on some key exercises. What I can do is just type in let's say I want to look at multi-digit multiplication I want to see how my students did on this exercise so I can see if I look to the left I have the minutes used on this exercise, the number of activities that they're proficient. Since it's only one exercise, it's only going to ever be one. Also the points that they earn. The points usually aren't too significant for us as teachers. Now let's say I want to look at another exercise, multiplication and division word problems. I click on that. Now you can see there's starting to be more than just one. You can see a couple students have two. Number of proficient exercises in this date range two. Also the number of minutes total for these exercises. Now you can also save your search because oftentimes you're going to have multiple exercises you're inserting. I only did two for the sake of time. But you may have six or seven exercises that you're typing in. You don't want to have to do that every single time. So you can save your search by simply clicking Control D. Okay, and right away I can have a class profile Khan Academy intervention group number two. I'll just click done. All right, now let's say I, I'm browsing to another part of Khan Academy if I want to go back to that bookmark of the search I was just doing, Class Profile Khan Academy Intervention Group Number 2, I can click on that and that will take me right to 
the search I just completed. One final option I will go over on this screen is the opportunity to download all of the statistics in a spreadsheet. So what you will just simply do is click download as spreadsheet. As you can see it will download it right to an Excel file. And there I have my spreadsheet from the search I just entered. So that is how you take a quick snapshot of student statistics within Khan Academy.